Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for April 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. A very, very happy birthday to you. It is your birthday season, so I hope you guys are enjoying that. This is going to be a general reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, you can find the information about the readings that I offer in the description box below. Just go ahead and email me and I'll get you all set up. If you can't choose, decide which reading to go with, just let me know what you're going through, uh, a little bit about the situation, and I'll help you pick it out, yeah? Uh, a quick announcement. I am going to be at Awaken Fair in Tarrytown this year. So if you are in the New York City, area, New York, uh, the tri-state area, especially if you are in Westchester County, go ahead and check out Awaken Fair, Tarrytown. Um, you can visit their website, www.awakenfair.com. If you would like to pre-book a session with me or any of the other fantastic readers and healers that they are bringing in for the event, go ahead and click the link in the description box below. Uh, sessions are either 15 or 30 minutes. You can pre-book those. Pre-booking ends on the 27th of April. The actual event is on the 28th. So if you are interested in attending, go ahead and check that out. I will be there. Come by. Come see me. We'll have a good time. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing this reading in the same way that I did last month's reading. I really like how that worked. Um, you guys seem to enjoy it. So I'm recording it so I can have a nice conversation with you. But then also I'm starting with an oracle card for the month and then I'm going to be pulling the normal freestyle reading for your energies, yes? And of course we're sticking with the unicorns and the golden universal tarot. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for April 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Also, guys, I don't know if you can hear, but there's a they've got a generator running outside. I hope that's not too distracting, but they're doing some some work across the street. So what can you do, right? All right, let's get into your oracle card for the month. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is your theme for this month, Aries? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All my Aries fam. Let's see what you've got for the month. Best message, please, Spirit. What is the general theme for Aries this month? General theme. Okay, well, let's try that again. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2019. Hmm, there it is. Okay, we've got abundance. Oh, that's beautiful. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Well, that is... That couldn't be any more of a perfect message for your birthday uh, season. Hello. That's kind of awesome, Aries. Um, let's see. So, interesting, Aries, because didn't you get this for March? At least I remember the title was Believe in Your Own Abundance or something like that. So, okay, so this looks like it's going to, it's a, it's a continuation of that energy but i do feel like you're coming into the abundance now like um where like last month we were saying you need to believe in that abundance now i believe it looks like and also it feels like for you aries that there is some abundance that's coming through uh specifically so, ooh, 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 ooh. okay we've got some flyers here. So let's talk about this. But um, to finish the statement I was making before, um, there's there's some changes that are going to be happening for some of you out there, okay? And it looks like that really is the case here because our flyer here is the fool, all right? So um, starting on a new adventure, moving in a new direction, um, the start of something new, 
You also have the Five of Swords and the Three of Wands. With the Five of Swords, I'm picking up jealousy here, okay? There could be, um, there could be, I don't know, this could be a relationship, a new job, um, maybe even like moving to a new home or something like that. Take it as it resonates. It, it, I mean, this is a general reading, so it really could be anything. But ultimately, there's a new start coming, a brand new beginning, Change is definitely on the way, Aries, okay? But with the Five of Swords here, there's definitely some sort of competition or some sort of jealousy. Um, this is potentially people from your past also. Uh, most likely, that's the strongest feeling that I get from this. People from your past that are kind of watching you strive, watching you move in this new direction here. And then you also have the Three of Wands, which is speaking to, um, you, I mean, lots of work put into this situation. Whatever you're starting, um, it's part of your path. It's definitely, you're definitely on the right path. Um, what else? There was something else that I wanted to say, but now it seems to have slipped my mind. But the Three of Wands is saying that, you know, oh, oh, oh what I was picking up was that, you know, there's a lot of hard work has been put into this. Um, and there's like almost, it's almost like a payoff is coming through, a return on the investment. Like for some of you, you may finally start to see evidence of something that you've really been working towards, okay, for quite some time. All right, cool. So let's get some, let's uh, shuffle this a few more times here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And then let's get into the energies for your month, yeah? April 2019. I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then... We'll see what we've got here. Boop. All right, Aries. Overall energy you've got here. Oh, beautiful. The sun. Oh, yes. Okay, so there are, de I'm, okay, I'm hearing there are definitely some hard-won victories that are coming through for you this month, okay? Um... Wow, this is really great to be start. I mean, especially for your birthday season, this is really an excellent energy to see, to, to have right in, fr in front of you right now. Um, and the, the sun can also speak about illumination, okay? But here, the biggest thing that is being, that I'm channeling here for this for you, Aries, is uh, victory, okay? Hey, yeah, that really is victory. Justice. All right, okay, Seven of Swords. And underneath that, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. All right, cool. Not, I'm sorry, not the Ten, the Eight of Pentacles. So sorry about that. Um, all right. First and foremost, I'm picking up on some legal battles here for some of you, some court cases. Um, there may have been some situations in which someone tried to steal from you uh, or someone did steal from you or whatever, and it was taken to court and whatnot. But um, I do feel like it's going to work out in somebody's favor here, obviously. I mean, <laughs> you know, um, someone's going to, it's going to, but, but it's going to, what I'm really picking up on here is like there's going to be some sort of illumination around um, theft or uh, trickery, um, something that was, that just was not fair or was um, something secretive or something like that. But there's justice involved, all right? And the illumination is going to come out. And, and this may not be something that you are actively aware of or made aware of, but like especially with the energies from the, the, um, the flyers that came out with that Five of Swords where I was picking up jealousy and resentment from other people, potentially people from your past, uh, there's going to be some just, re just desserts for some people, okay? And this really could be people from your past. Um, and this really could, and the justice that, honestly, the justice that really could come through here for you, Aries, is the fact that you're doing well. You're thriving, you're surviving, you know, you're, you're, you're doing your thing and you're working hard. You've been working hard with the Eight of Pentacles. The, especially the Eight of Pentacles is what this is saying here is that your hard work is definitely going to be paying off, okay? And if it's not in April, it's in the near future, Spirit is saying. Because, you know, for some, your circumstances could mean that it's that not necessarily going to happen in April. But uh, success is assured here in some cases, okay? This is great. This is great. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Libra. You also could be dealing with a Leo. Or you could have these in your chart. 
Now, for some of you Aries, because this could go either way, okay? But for some of you, you may have been the deceptive one. You may have been the one that, you know, was trying to pull the wool over someone's eyes or trying to steal something or get away with something. Um, but that's going to come out. Because the sun does represent, while the sun is the most optimistic card in the deck, it also does represent illumination, okay? Something's going to come to light. And I do see with the Eight of Pentacles, you working hard, or if this isn't you, someone else then, whoever this is, whoever was trying to um, get away with something in the past, now it looks like they're going to be working hard to try and make it up, or there's going to be some hard work to bring in some sort of justice for you, okay? So let's get into the rest of the month here for you. I, normally, I look, I split this as first half of the month, second half of the month. You can look at it that way, but you don't have to. You could just see this as fluid energies throughout the month of March. Um, not March, excuse me, April. Um, and yeah, so you can either look at, it, look at it as the first half of the month and then the second half, or you could just look at it as one big hodgepodge, whatever you want to do. Yes? <laughs> Take it as it resonates. Okay. For the first set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading here, we have Seven of Wands. Okay. Defensiveness, guardedness, boundaries. Uh, for some of you, you really learned the value of some good defenses, but this could also mean blockages. Um, a, may, a big thing that I'm picking up here for you, Aries, is maybe being guarded, okay? Um, having strong boundaries up. Maybe even isolating yourself a little bit. There is absolutely a reason for this. It has a lot to do with this justice that's being served here for you. For many of you, I think you're really in a position of really wanting to protect your energy, protect yourself. And so you're feeling pretty guarded, um, you know, feeling... This almost feels like a hermit mode type situation. Now, in terms of blockages, this could, like, if you've been having, dealing with a court case, this could represent the blockages that might be, you might be experiencing. Okay, Seven of Wands is coupled with, yeah, the Page of Wands. So this absolutely is, for the most part, the biggest thing that I'm picking up on is just um, being guarded, defending yourself, um, you know, putting up hard boundaries, uh, maybe, like I said, maybe isolating yourself a little bit. This does absolutely feel a little bit like a hermit mode, a hermit moment, or a hermit mode where you know you go completely reclusive and you go within and you like you kind of shut out the rest of the world. Um, but especially with the Page of Wands here, it absolutely does feel like a hermit mode situation because the Page of Wands talks about self discovery. Um, self-identification, you could say. Uh, there could be an energy of trying to re-identify yourself or learn more about yourself, um, refocus your creative efforts also. The Page of Wands can talk about excitement towards a new job or a, a new creative venture, um, ex excitement for life. Some of you may actually really be going within to try and find a new sense of self, um, as to find some new inspiration in life, okay? Now, you could be coming out of that. Some of you may be going into it, but this is the this is this is just feels like the energy that's surrounding you right now, okay? Second set of surrounding energies, you got ah, the page of pentacles. So, a brand new beginning here, especially with the fool that came out in the flyers. Um the page of pentacles to me recently has really been talking about a level up, reaching a new a new level in the physical existence. And so because of that, you may feel like you need to, you know, refine uh, your footing. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to get a little more comfortable here. Um, you, you may need to, you know, feel like you have to start over or you're feeling like you are starting over. You're, you're trying to gain your footing, like a, very much like a toddler that's trying to uh, learn to walk. Um, especially, you know, with this Seven of Wands energy and the, and the, uh, yeah, I wanted to say the Hermit, but the Seven of Wands energy and the Page of Wands, um, there is definitely some new, a new reality that's coming into play for you here, Aries, okay? Page of Pentacles is coupled with 
the Ten of Pentacles. See, I thought I thought the Ten of Pentacles was coming out because earlier I was I <laughs> referred to the Eight of Pentacles as the Ten of Pentacles. Um, but so, okay. So what this is here, uh, the Ten of Pentacles has been speaking to um, lessons learned recently in the readings that I've been doing. Um, and because of that, you, uh, you are starting, you're like reaching a new level or you've completed one class or you've completed one lesson and now you're on to the next. Okay. Um, and absolutely all of this would definitely be bringing justice into your life. Illumination. Um, the seven of swords energy is a little worrisome, but it is, and it isn't at the same time. Because of the sun here, all right? Just be careful. Um, if you're starting any new creative ventures or, you know, developing something or anything like that, just, I'm not trying to make anybody paranoid, but be mindful of people around you that might want to sabotage or, or steal. Um, but honestly, with everything, with, with what's coming through with this Ten of Pentacles in the lessons learned, I really feel like you have become aware of this and you've learned this lesson already so it's not like i really need to tell you it's not it it's not a, a warning it's more of this is what you you you've come to understand this now in some way okay i'm also seeing um some of you are starting on like a new job or a new career a new creative venture that ultimately will be leading you towards some sort of financial fulfillment um Maybe, maybe making moves in like a dream career or something like that for some of you, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, you've got the Four of Swords. So needing to rest, needing to take a break, maybe. Um, I do feel like you've probably been working very hard. Um, yeah, Aries, sometimes you need to just take a break and like not just go so hard, right? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, also, there's, there could be some new perspective that's coming into play. So with this illumination that's coming through here this month, um, you might have to take some time to allow it to integrate. Yeah. This is beautiful, Aries. Uh, Four of Swords is coupled with the Two of Swords. Yes. Okay. Needing to make a decision, says Spirit, but potentially not really knowing how to make that decision. And that really could be because you're needing to take some time to integrate the, maybe the downloads that you've been getting or the lessons that you've learned, um, allow it to settle before you can really make a decision. There's also a need for mental uh, balance for some of you. It's also an energy that I'm picking up on um, with this illumination that's coming through here um, and the justice even that's coming through because of that illumination. Um, oh, shoot. I totally just lost it. It's, it's in the Two of Swords. It's the energy of... Um, needing to see something clearer before you can move forward... Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I totally lost that one. But actually, to be quite honest, I think I already said it. So <laughs> so anyway, we're going to move forward. But um, yeah, just integration is what Spirit is saying. You need to give yourself some time to integrate. And this could be over the month of April, you know, like it, it, take whatever time you need. It's not a rush in any way. All right. But yes, there is going to need to be some some time for integration to assimilate this new perspective you may have just landed on, right? Okay. The closing message or potential outcome here in the first half of your reading, you've got the Ten of Wands. Okay. Carrying burdens. But honestly, with the illumination that's coming through here, I think you're really starting to understand where your burdens are and what you need to do to alleviate them. That absolutely could be what this Four of Swords and Two of Swords is speaking to, right? Needing to take some time to rest, relax, to chill, and allow yourself to integrate so that you can recognize where you are carrying too many burdens um, and what you need to ultimately let go of. Ten of Wands is coupled with the Magician. 
That's beautiful. Okay. I'll, I'm also getting an energy of releasing something so that your manifestations can flow in towards you. Spring cleaning, maybe? That's kind of what that sounds like. Ew, that sounds fun. <laughs> um, yeah, freeing up space or freeing up energy for your manifestations to come through. That's beautiful. And it actually is directly connected to, you know, what we've got in the beginning of the reading here. Seven of Wands, Page of Wands, uh, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, there is a brand new start happening here. It's beautiful. Okay, getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies. The Empress. Beautiful. Uh, if any of you are planning on getting pregnant and starting a family, that could happen this month between the Page of Pentacles and the Empress here. Um, but the Empress, again, is speaking to this abundance for you, Aries. This is beautiful. Um, it also speaks to the, the energies of the Divine Feminine. Okay. The Empress is coupled with, ooh, the Page of Swords. Okay, I am picking up a little bit of sinister energy here. It's like someone could be watching you in your empress state or in your abundance. So just be cautious, be aware of that. I mean, this is the third time now that this kind of jealous type energy is coming through here. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for that one. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aries. We have the Hanged Man. There's that Four of Swords energy also. I do like to... I, I do see the Hanged Man or... I'm sorry, the Four of Swords as the minor arcana version of the Hanged Man. And we were already talking about needing to gain some sort of different perspective with the Four of Swords. But, okay, so uh, this Page of Swords energy is not as sinister as, um, it ha as it might seem on the surface. Because now something else is coming through here. Because I was picking up that, you know, with this Page of Swords, it could be that you're, you're trying to figure something out. Or maybe communicating with someone about um, your abundance or whatever is going on abundantly for you. And now with this, four, with this um, uh, uh, hanged man energy that's coming through, uh, it is resonating that there is some sort of seeking here. Seeking um, to understand or just learning potentially. Learning how to view your abundance differently. Yeah, that's a big one. Okay. The hanged man is coupled with the star. Ah, beautiful, Aries. So beautiful. So healing. Absolutely. Very, very much healing here. And wish fulfillment. But this healing, and this actually, it's also resonating with this Ten of Wands and the Magician card. Um, the healing comes from gaining some sort of new perspective that allows you to move forward with abundance, that allows you to see things differently, and so ultimately manifest better, manifest differently. That's excellent. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you've got the Six of Swords. Excellent as well. Healing, absolutely. Moving from rougher waters to calmer waters. So I really do feel like there is a, a big balancing out mentally. Okay, uh, the Two of Swords can also speak to mental balance. So um, coming into some sort of mental balance in order to move forward or to see things differently, which is um, a big message here. But the challenge here is to move away from the rough waters to the calmer waters. That may be easier than it sounds. It may be harder than it sounds. But, I mean, it's a general reading, so please take what resonates. But this is definitely on a mental scale. A lot of what's going on in this second half of the reading here is about the mind. Seeing things differently, Spirit is saying, in order for your abundance to come through in ways that you truly desire it to, okay? And honestly, this Seven of Swords energy that's in your overall energy, it doesn't have to be another person. It could be 
your own self-sabotage, uh, stealing from yourself. Right? Yeah. Six of Swords is coupled with the Chariot. Cancer energy, um, Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Pisces. Libra, Leo, something. You could, but uh, I mean, that's not... Take it as it resonates, right? <laughs> but um, there is a lot of deep healing over this month of April that is going to be happening here for a lot of you that is really going to get you moving in the direction that you really want to be going, okay? So April could be a very, just a, a month of straight up healing, you know? Other than, I, I wouldn't really expect too much of the month of April for you guys, other than just working on healing some of your deep core wounds, which, to be quite honest, is a lot to begin with, you know? That's beautiful, though. That really is beautiful, Aries. Okay, so your closing message or the potential outcome here, you've got, in your second half of the reading, you've got the High Priestess. I'm seeing this as somewhat of like a crossing, a threshold, um, um, reaching a new level of wisdom, okay? Normally, the, the High Priestess speaks of secrets, but here, what this is saying, what she's saying in this circumstance is that you're reaching a brand new level, you are graduating in a sense. You're in the process of graduating. And this could either be sometime during the month, or it could be at the end of the month, but there is going to be a new level that is reached here. And we've already been talking about that here with the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, you know? That's excellent. The High Priestess is coupled with, what did I say? The world, yeah. You're leveling up here, Aries. And I do want you to, to, I know you guys can't see the cards, but in the second half of your reading, is the second half of your reading is mostly major arcana. So this is a big, this is a big step for you. This is a big ending, lots of major endings to cycles, things that have hold, have been holding you back in the past. I really do feel like if you've been in some sort of rut, Aries, then you're going to be in... The, Either you're already taking steps to, to get yourself out of that rut. Um, you know, maybe you started in late March and now you're continuing through April. And in April, you finally find some sort of stride that really gets keeps gets a good momentum going that you can keep up with. Or this starts in April for you. But either way, I mean, you learned, you've either learned or you're learning some really strong secrets about the universe, maybe some secrets about yourself that have been keeping you in a rut or keeping you from moving forward, whether at the pace that you want or in the direction that you want. But this is great, Aries. This is like a really, really awesome energy for you. Congratulations and happy birthday, right? <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. And if you would like to sign up for a reading at Awaken Fair on April 28th, go ahead and click that link also in the description box below. Yeah? Much love to you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.